Hello guys, welcome to my 8th video. This video is um, about one of my favourite books. It's called um, The Collected Works by this author called Khalil Gibran. Now Khalil Gibran was a 15th century scholar, um, philosopher, and he's written all kinds of books. This book, I, I could recommend it. It's um, quite an interesting book. It's obviously a lot of um, a lot of work there, which is a lot of different books, which is kind of compiled into one volume. And it's a collection of short poems. And just one of my favourite poems is this one on giving. So I'll read you a, a small kind of uh, snippet, and then I want to kind of discuss it with you guys. Okay, so again, you'll have to excuse me, guys. I'm sorry, I've got a bit of a... <coughs> Pardon me, a bit of a sore throat, so if you just have to bear with me, if I'm a bit slow. So, then said a rich man, speak to us of giving. And he answered, you give but little when you give of your possessions. It is when you give of yourself that you truly give. For what are your possessions but things you keep and guard for fear you may need them tomorrow? And tomorrow... What shall tomorrow bring to the overprudent dog, burying bones in the trackless sands as he follows the pilgrims to the holy city? And what is fear of need but need itself? Is not dread of thirst when your well is full, the thirst that is unquenchable? There are those who give little of the much which they have, and they give it for recognition and their hidden desire makes their gifts unwholesome and there are those who have little and give it all these are the believers in life and the bounty of life and their coffer is never empty there are those who give with joy and that joy is their reward and there are those who give with pain and that pain is their baptism and there are those who give and know not pain in giving nor do they seek joy nor give with mindfulness of virtue they give as in yonder valley the myrtle breathes breathes its fragrance into space so just a, a quick extract there i think it's very good um re i really like that poem and basically what i get from that um from that poem is that it's only really when you give of your time when you spend time with someone and give a hundred percent attention that you're actually ever giving i mean i've seen i mean again you know no judgment here but i've seen you know for example wealthy parents and they don't spend any time with the children they just maybe you know give them money give them possessions uh as, as in a way to kind of bribe them to kind of buy their affection and but, you know, you can see children, the children are not happy like that. I think they need kind of uh, that connection, that one-to-one -one, uh, time. So that's that's the first thing I want to say. Also, it's where it says the part where there are people who give just to kind of show. Uh, and then there's those who give with joy. And there are those, um, it talks about baptism. Let's have a look. Let's have a look again. And there are those who give with pain, and that pain is their baptism. So there maybe they have ulterior motives there. So one of the key things I get from it is to be sincere in what you're doing. And how is how does this relate to our journey for us all? I think it's to be sincere. You know, when you when you when you when you do something, do it with sincerity, because I think people can see. You know, when when you're sincere, and when you when when things generally genuinely come from a place of sincerity. Okay, guys. So this was my um, eighth video. Um, you know, hope you hope you kind of got some uh, found it interesting. Um, what are your thoughts? Do you like reading any kind of poetry or any other books you could recommend? You know, please uh, comment in the chat below. Anyway, guys, as always, I wish you well and take care, and we'll catch up soon. Okay, take care. Bye bye.